Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox the Makita 3 8 and quarter inch hex impact driver set kit. So what this kit comes with, it comes with a quarter inch hex impact uh, and a 3 8 inch impact, two 3 amp hour batteries, a bag, and a charger. Now this was $150. This is actually a fantastic deal. This was the last one in my store and luckily I was able to get it. So what we are going to do is we're going to unbox this and go through the specs of what is what these tools are. Alrighty, so. Alright, this, this is different. 100% uh, this is a different unboxing than what I'm used to. For uh, they are adding the the batteries are already in the the tool. The batteries are not separate, which I find that a little odd. You know because it, it, this isn't a return like that's a that's the perfect height for the box for the batteries to be on the tool. All right, it's gonna whip this stuff out because it is different and there is the warranty i think i believe it's the same as the half inch impact i believe it is a three-year warranty and the model number for this is xwt13 all right so speed one it goes to zero to 300 rpm and speed two it goes to zero to 24 rpm and then the impacts per minute is 0 to 2,000 on the first uh, setting. Setting 2, it is zero, 0 to 3,600. Very good. Very good. These tools do look cool. These tools do look very cool. All right, got the 3 amp hour batteries, which that's seriously awesome. I got to put those on charge. Battery is dead pretty much on those. All right, so the quarter inch hex impact, it is one, there is a variable speed trigger. There is no other, there is no other settings. It is a zero to 3,400 RPMs and zero to 3,600 uh, impacts per minute. But very good. It's good to have, it's like $150. That, that's not, that's seriously not bad at all. We do have to put the belt clips on. I'm not going to lie, you guys, I am falling in love with Makita. You know, I have Milwaukee and Milwaukee M12, DeWalt, Ryobi. You know, I, I'm starting to I'm starting to really fall in love with, uh, with Makita. And there we go. And there we go. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Of course, the these batteries are dead. I like that. That looks cool. That looks good. All right. So while these batteries charge, let's talk about the charger really quick. Now. Now on the back there is no uh, wall mounting uh, spaces on there whatsoever. This is uh, sit on tabletop only. And uh, that's actually disappointing. Uh, there is no USB, there, there is no USB port which no other charging station has. Besides I think, uh, I think uh, Ryobi's six, maybe a six port charger does of other brands. But when it comes to this specific charger, the DC1, uh, DC18SD, there is no uh, other feature besides charging uh, these batteries. Now, I do not know if this also supports their 12 volt system. I don't think so. I think it's just. Uh, the 18 volt charger and so yeah but there that that is one disappointing that there is no wall mount feature on the back of the uh of the charger now when it comes to the quality of the charger it, uh the charger feels a little bit more plasticky than 
than any other brand that I that I have. Uh, this uh, the, it doesn't feel like there's any uh, fiberglass reinforcement inside embedded into the plastic. It feels like it, it feels like a cheap plastic. Now there are uh, which that's what, it's a charger. You know it's that's not really ex a high priority to have a extremely thick plastic because you're not going to be throwing these wherever you are. These are going to be planted on the ground like 99% of the time or in your bag while you're using them. So the, these aren't going to just these aren't going to break on you. So I was completely wrong about this. This is a half inch. This is not a 3 8 Sorry, I naturally thought it was a 3 8 because they normally don't make half inches this size. But this is a that's a half inch. Cannot wait to test that out. Yeah, that that's the same. All right, and for this test, we'll, we're going to use Tech Life Impact Rated Sockets. Since we have a 3 amp hour battery, I want to use it on the half inch uh, impact wrench, which is model number XWT11. Now, I just unboxed this and did a test on it with a 2 amp hour battery, so I want to see what happens with a 3 amp hour battery really quick. And we will see. And we're going to do one test. We are going to do a 10 inch. Do about right here. All right, so we're going forward in three, two, one, go. That is struggling. So let's see if I put it on this. See what happens. All right, so it is struggling again, even with the three amp hour battery to do that. Because it, uh, if for me to continue, it needs to go faster than that because if you continue to do that with this uh, power, you're gonna end up ruining the tool uh, and bring, breaking the tool down faster. All right, so we're gonna take this out. Three, two, one, go. All right, that's that mode. We're gonna try the, this mode. So, Cause now we're gonna light up all the S to the high. See what happens. All right, so I just wanted to test it out really quick to see what happens. Now this uh, the bottom part of this log is very moist, so that might be an issue. But yeah, I just wanted to test that out. Battery is now at seventy-five percent on that one. Let's try out the quarter-inch hex. Variable speed trigger. Let's see what this can do. We are going to try the four-inch. Uh, four I believe this is. See what this can do. Battery's at 75%. I got the other one charging. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. Not too bad. Not bad time. You can see the smoke coming from that. Yeah, I think the the moisture in the wood is caught uh, causing major friction all right now we're gonna do I think this is a five a six inch five and a half inch let's try a five and a half inch see what happens all right so three two one go we 
go. Time on that one. Batteries that's still 75%. Like I said, I did not know that I should have just simply read the box, but this is a half inch impact wrench. This is five and a half inch. All right, so three, two, one, go. And that's that. I was able to do it. I was able to do it. All right, so we're going to use this and take this one out. Wait, can you not do it? No. Wow. Oh, that, that moisture inside that log is causing major, it's got to be major friction from that. It's got to be. So we're going to try a fully charged battery and see if we can take that out. All right, so three. Let's actually put this one back on the charge. Three, two, one, go. And there you go. Wow. Yeah, that moisture. This is see that moisture is bad, but it's a good stretch uh, stress test. All right, so let's try the a quarter inch hex again. Fully charged. Let's see if it could do an eight inch. Let's see if this is capable of doing an eight inch. Right here is good. All right, so three, two. One, go. There we go. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Okay, let's take this one out first. Let's do a quick test. Let's let's see if the if this one could take that out. All right, so three, two, one. Yes, it can. It's probably not nearly as moist right there than it is over there. But these things did a fantastic job. Awesome. I'm so glad I got I, I got this kit. Like I said before, I did not even realize that this was a half inch. I mean, like, that's just, uh, I thought it was a three-eighths. So, but it's all good, though. I'm glad it's a three-eighths because... I'm glad it's a half inch because I would have I have a three eighths to half inch adapter anyways because my sockets are Tac Life uh, Tac Life's impact rated half inch sockets and so yeah it's good though this kit is awesome.
it's powerful. We are going to do versus videos against this, uh, with this against Rigid, DeWalt, Ryobi, Milwaukee, Tack Life, uh, and other brands that are going to be coming along on this channel. So this, uh, this kit was $150, and I just want to get the max torque for these really quick. All right, so the half inch is 250 foot-pounds of torque. Well, I have nut busting torque, sorry, and quarter inch hex delivers 1500 inch pounds of uh, max torque. So yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. I am disappointed in the battery, uh, in the charger that you cannot mount it onto a wall. It, ha it has to be a surface top charger, but that, that's all right. Uh, but yeah, 150 bucks, uh, they might be available still, maybe. Are gonna do major test videos in the future of this in many situations. I do have a nice intro coming up for Christmas time. Uh, I, in the next video, we're going to test out the Milwaukee M12 system. I got some more batteries for it, so we are going to do a couple of M12 system tests soon. So many videos coming up. Just please subscribe, hit the bell button, and be notified of when my videos are posted. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.